Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're playing some more Sly 3. Um, like usual, in between episodes, I did a little bit of farming. I couldn't record, so I just ran around and stole a bunch of stuff. So I got 7,000 gold here. So we can buy probably most of these moves. Not all of them, though. So we'll have to kind of pick wisely what we want. I definitely think slow time to a crawl. That could be cool. Probably the Rage Bomb would be cool. Temporal Lock. Let's buy that. Feral Pounce. Let's buy that. Then let's buy the level 2. How much money we got. Okay, then what we could end up doing is buying these two because they're both 800. So we only have really two more moves left to buy here. So that is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and jump on Sly here. So let me turn up the volume. Apparently it's a little low here. What do we got? We got we got a lot of stuff all of a sudden. Um, we got the pounce. Let's just go ahead and give uh give that a whirl. How far is this pounce? Okay, that's a pretty far pounce. Now got die. What about thief reflexes? Okay, that I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> it slows time down, obviously. Um, okay, I think that's all, the only two really new moves we got. So let's go and put the smoke back on here, and then. Yeah, we can leave that like that. Okay, cool. Let's um head over to the next uh, mission here and get it started. And we're all gonna have to kind of collect money also while we're while we're doing things here. But since I bought most of the moves, I'm not in a super big hurry to be honest. That's it. One of Sal's fireworks stashes for the ceremony. This lock looks pretty standard, but I'll need some help carrying the goods. The Panda King is the man for the job. He's strong, good with explosives, and capable of dealing with multiple opponents. Once we get enough fireworks, he should be capable of blowing the hopping vampire crypt sky high. Look, Bentley, I know you believe in the guy, but I don't trust him yet. You don't have a choice. He's the only man for the job. I'll go get him and send him your way. All right, we're going to get uh, Panda's help. Nice. This is it, Panda King. We need you for a field mission. Sly's trying to break into a fireworks cache, and he needs help. Fine. I will be there presently. You may go. Look, I don't mind telling you I'm putting my neck on the line here. We're all counting on you. I will mind your neck. Nice, Panda. I will go. Oh. The Panda Express after this. I am about to work alongside Sly Cooper, and I cannot carry you with me on the journey. You fool! This is your chance for revenge. He humiliated us, ruined us, made us weak. Humiliation was a crossroads. I have chosen to walk the path of humility. Humility that cost you your daughter. Destroy Cooper now. My mind is fractured. No action can be taken until he and I are in unison. Cooper is at the center. Um, to help save. Without Cooper and his associates, I stand little chance of rescuing Jing King. Little chance. Allow yourself to dip into my hateful fury, and we can save Jing King single-handed. Bro, what is this? The dark side? Such an action would cost many lives. Your path of moderation will cost you, Jing King. Humility. Cooper is a teacher of humility. We have slain his parents, yet he manages to trust us. By studying his facts, we will become whole. I have no desire to join with my weaker side. You are failure. I and the strength that used to be the once glorious Panda King. It wasn't that glorious. Strong, and I am humble. But only through cooperation will we become the father Jing King needs. The yin and the yang. If strength were all that mattered, 
Sao would be an ideal son-in-law. Very well. Cooper shall live. All right. Not the type of resolution I was thinking of, to be honest. Also, I'm going to make a loud noise. I'm going to move my mic, so excuse me. Yeah, I don't know. It felt like he was definitely like on the dark side of things there, like, join me and we will take over the tri-state area type vibe. Fear not, Cooper. I shall not kill you this day. Um, ditto. I know you've been out of the game for a while. Maybe you should use this time to brush up on your old skills. First of course. First, here's how to fire an object. Center the camera on a target and hold down the L1 button to load fire. Release the button to launch them. Oh, this is so. This is so cool. Did I just destroy everything? Oh my god, that's so cool. Sweep over multiple targets with the right analog stick. You've always been capable of attacking large groups of foes. Now try targeting these two vampires at different locations. I think this is by far like my favorite character to play with. That is so cool. So do I like pack more of a punch if I hold it on people? Oh, yeah, yeah, I hold, I throw more fireworks if I just hold on to it. I'm on it. Oh! Okay, why did he not tell me that beforehand? Ba ba ba. Ooh, but free money? So wait, if I just like kill him. Okay, noted. I they explode right this time. Honestly, I think this game only gets more and more fun as the like we get cooler characters okay, I'm done with and better like stuff. events I'll and stuff. The next cash. Excellent. I'll make good use of these. Like I know, I guess small spoiler, but we're gonna be getting like pirate ships and stuff later. Which, to be honest, I'm maybe way too excited for that. More excited than I probably should be. All right, can you guys not do that, please? Pew pew. I wish we had a gun with them though. That'd be so sick. Imagine like a firework gun. Although, again, I do not. I think this is like the coolest power so far in the game. Um, what I was going to say, but I didn't want to do it in the middle of a cutscene, is it? It's basically just um, the dude from Red Dead, his dead eye or uh, McCree's dead eye, which is kind of cool. All right, I'm here. Oh, up there. Um, that's not good. Where are they, though? I love how, um, Panda has the flaming chop. Just like Murray, so that's pretty cool. I wonder where Murray learned it from. Okay, so I gotta kinda stay a little bit away from the diseased crickets here, because I'm also gonna blow up myself on accident, apparently. Alright, you get out of here, you little weirdo. You look like dried asparagus. I don't like you. But, please. Give me your money. Alright, you can... Goodbye. Thank you. Are these... Dried asparagus people? Like, are they filled with bombs? Because I understand that my bombs blow up, but... They themselves are also blowing up, which doesn't seem particularly natural. Did they bury them after they just ate a bunch of like TNT or something? I don't particularly understand here, but I'm cool with it. Cash to go. We're doing great. All right, let's go get the rest of the fireworks. Also, um, a Panda King, like a rocket boost, or like kind of like Sly's rocket boots, but for a Panda King. That would be kind of goaded. 
imagine right now like a surfboard with fireworks on it. I think Panda King might be a little thick for a, for a snowboard, but just putting it out there. Alright. Yeah, okay, Bentley. Chill out, bro. This ain't the last of us. We're fine. We're fine. No clickers, no clickers. Just these uh, weird little crickets. Again, we just gotta try to. Oh, that. They did not feel like dying. Okay. Just gotta make sure we don't step too close to them. So once again, apparently they're explosive. Not sure whose idea that. Forgot to let go. I am a genius. All right, but well, we need to fill our pack here. Okay, that was pretty good. Oh, I gotta scratch my nose. Leave me alone. Give me the money. Oh, I'll take the health too, actually. Skirt. All right, let's get these two guys. Anyone else coming? Sure, we'll hit those guys at the same time. Although they kind of got saved by that little uh, roof thingy. All right, full pack. Got that Panda King pack. Anybody else? Anybody else? Just you guys? Alright. Ooh, that was a fat little stack of money right there. You absolutely love to see it. Another little fat stack of money. They need to give me like 12 targets at once. I need to see fireworks absolutely everywhere. I did not mean to just try to murder Sly right there, I swear. Money, money. Gimme, gimme. I feel like if all of these guys just came at once, this would be a lot more effective than, than them coming in staggered. Okay, Panda King, he's thick and he's cool and he's got a lot of, like, damage potential. Well, holy crap, does he not have any HP in the slightest. I literally hit myself with a single bomb, and I was just instantly gone, basically. Okay, that hit a lot of people right there. Hopefully that just kills him right there. I think all this health, too, though. Alright, bro, it's one. Come on. Woo. Come on, dude. One more? There we go. I knew it couldn't have been too many more. Ooh, is there some behind us? Forgot to let go, apparently. Oh, that's not good. Let's try and get out of that small area before I accidentally lose a finger. There we go. We're making a pretty good team. This is the last of the fireworks. Put them in the crypt and kaboom! No more hopping vampires. Yes, this ordinance will suffice. They're gonna be fangs everywhere. Right. PTSD. Um, what? Just head back to the safe house. Yes. Do that. Hey yo, it's evil king time. He's just the meaner version. It's just emo panda king. He's a sad boy. He likes to hurt people and things. Alright, pig. You're gonna get blasted. Later, dude. Drive by. Boing. Anybody else want some? Right, are we going back up there? Are we just going back to the original crypt that we were just at? I don't feel like getting shot by this guy a couple thousand times, so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, call it a day with that guy. I feel like. I feel like Panda King might be a really good farming tool.
This will do it, I think. Ayo. The deed is done. Very yeah. epic. I still don't understand how we're only 31% done with this game. It feels like we're on like the fourth or fifth level, and we're for real only 31% done with the game. All right, let's go ahead and uh, grab a boar, our boy Murray here. Down the line. All right, what moves do we get for him? We got the guttural roar, temporal lock. Let's see what this does. Oh, does this just um? Okay, that's actually kind of busted. I feel like Murray, especially because his mobility is kind of sucky. He doesn't have much, much like stealth. I can just do that and run past people, which is again. I'm, in my opinion, a little busted as far as Murray goes, so that was definitely a worthwhile hey, move to get. What about Panda? We'll be able to listen in on Sal's conversation. Sure, Penelope. Easy for muscle man like myself. Just keep clear and let old Mercules work. Alright, Murray. Man's trying to hit. Here we go. That's bad gas. This is all my fault. Hang in there, Murray. I'm coming. Quickly, take the foreigner to the highest peak and blast him to pieces. Be sure to leave a trail of gunpowder. All must be done in accordance with tradition, or the ancestors will be displeased. Alright, Zoe. Too late. He's as good as dead. No, there's still a chance. Use your RC car. It should be fast enough to beat the lit fuse up the mountain. It's the only tool we've got to save Murray. We got it this time. This time, we win. Just have to make sure to not hit the things that are bad. Alright. Bop, somehow I still took damage there. And I forgot about that tiger. Whoop. See, things like those rocks are really gonna screw me over. If I'm not a little bit more careful. It's a good thing this thing basically has like auto lock, or this would be. Much, much harder. Get okay, noted, I... I feel like I, I want to hit those before I get to them, but it seems like... Even if I shoot them at, like, the first time possible... It still blows up and ends up killing me, actually, so... So that was good for a minute there. Oh, when I... Just barely actually missed, uh, the bridge there. I was a little lucky, to be honest. I was a little unlucky. The one thing that could get in my way did. Can we still beat it up there? Is there, like, a shortcut we can take? Maybe? Let's see, maybe... Maybe the game will have pity on us. <laughs> and make it just a little slower. It's a little fast right now. Hopefully he doesn't shoot me. Feels like the big cards ha haven't really been doing much. I like to see a little car driving. Why would you shoot at it? Alright. I think we're actually going to make it. I don't, I'm not really sure how. It definitely took pity on me and like lowered the speed of the burn on the rope. But hey, I'll take it. No complaining. He's got a he's got a big van and a small van. Let's go. Alright, where's he at? I forgot, doesn't he consider basically like his van is like kid basically? So what does he got? Like a like a grand electric grandkid now? Alright. Let's go ahead and um 
try to run up a Bentley mission. Is there some way I can like jump over this? Oh, I could do the R2. Oh, that's not what I meant. Oh, R2. Whoops. There's got to be a way I can like jump far enough with this. Right? Oh, come on. Come on, Bentley. Murray, you're better than this. Boing. Come on. Oh, that would have been clutch if I could just jump on that boat right there. Okay, we can do it on this one. Boing. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Wait, but I need to go... Okay. Very cool, David. Oh, got a full shot of his private areas right there. That was pretty cool. Well, let's go ahead and grab Bentley. And I think we'll go ahead and do his mission today. Get up his PowerPoint slide and uh, we'll be good. Boink, boink, boink. Hey, Bentley, are you and Murray finished fixing up the van? I'm afraid we'll need a new power source. The old polycellular battery has lost its core. Okay, is there one around here I can steal for you? Penelope's aerial reconnaissance has located a candidate, but due to the delicate nature of the work, I should be the one to decouple it. So, what? Can I help out here at all? Stay close. I'll need you for charging the battery. Alright. Bentley's gonna be the thief. Let's go. Bentley working his way up in the world. Alright, let's just use our super speed here. How high do- oh, okay. It's over here. <gasps> Almost. Just ran straight into the water right there. Hello, my pretty. Don't say it like that. That's creepy. Is the battery complete? Yes, it just needs to be charged. Seems like that might be a problem in these parts. Well, if we took it the veil, it's happened to know. <laughs> Hold it right there, Sly Cooper. Don't move or I'll zap you. So yeah, I, th I think that's the point. <laughs> this is like... This is gonna hurt him in the long run. I feel like he's gonna... He's gonna lose plenty of brain cells getting shot this many times. Who's that behind me, bro? Stop. What are you doing? I'm trying to shoot the raccoon. Okay, and I lost him. Genius. Woo! Here we go. I'm gonna try not to shoot that TNT right there. Boing. Yo, where'd he go? It is kind of funny, though. Look, I will never complain about a Carmelita mission. These are fun. Sly Cooper, requesting extraction unit, over. Nice acting, Sly. The battery is fully charged. Plug it into one of the main light outlets to stabilize it. Then we'll attach it to the van. But be careful. Now that the battery is full, it won't absorb any more of Carmelita's shots. No, really. It was an easy capture. I don't deserve a medal. He was practically... <laughs> Later. I'm gonna. She actually sniped me midair. Holy crap, dude! Face Carmelita. All right, let's make this. Let's gonna make it quick, and then I jump straight into the water. All right, later. Boink. Um, can do that, right? Ah. Monkey. Too bad. <laughs> oh, does she notice the second I move? 
she gonna hit me midair again? No? Okay, she didn't snipe me this time. Alright. Rocket time. Always gotta forget that the ledge basically just ends right there. Alright, I'm gonna hit him with this thing again. Boink. Oh, I love how neither of them got hit. Oh. That's it? Okay. That didn't... <laughs> that didn't seem very long to stabilize it, but alright. Bentley's the smart one here, so... I'm just gonna rocket my way all the way back. If I don't get clipped on a ledge, at least. Yum. Just gonna <laughs> speed strat that. Ouch. What in the world did he just throw at me? <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. I'm guessing we're gonna get a little PowerPoint here, right? Let's go, Bentley. Time to free Jean King, drop General Sal blind, and send him up the river. I call it Operation Wedding Crasher. This will be a multi-pronged job with two groups working simultaneously. I'm sure I don't need to stress the importance of the schedule to anyone. First, Sly, Penelope, and Murray will make their way past all the security in Sal's treasure temple, and then drop the goods off to me for loading into the van. Meanwhile, the Panda King and Guru will tunnel beneath the palace, creating an escape route for Jing King. Sly, you'll have to pull double duty taking care of any topside security designed to detect subterranean assaults. Once you guys are done, I'll use my grapple cam to lure Inspector Fox into the palace, where we'll try to get her to take Jing King's place. Then, with the girl and loot in hand, we run for it. Sounds like a sick plan. I think replacing the Jing King with Carmelita is going to turn out pretty funny, but... We're going to go and do that next episode, guys. Thanks for watching.